Okay, I think we're live. I'm just seeing if it's working. Oh, I can see somebody's joining. If someone would just give me a little wave or a heart or something like that, just so I know that you can hear me. Um, that would be fabulous. Because I don't quite know what I'm doing, even though I've done this several times now. Hello, can you hear me? Oh, I hope you can. Yes, I think that means you can hear me. Fabulous. I'm always a little bit nervous that um, you'll never be able to hear me and I'll just be stood here chatting away. So, good morning. Thank you so much for coming and watching. Um, my name's Tracy. I am Thimble and Thread Make and I am a um, maker of project bags. So, I will keep sliding away to the side because I find it a bit disconcerting seeing myself on the camera. So, I'll say hello and then I'll step to the side. So, um, yeah. This is me. So um, I am uh, over on Instagram and um, sort of all social media as Thimbleland. Oh, you can hear me. Fabulous. Thank you. Um, you're out of focus though. Oh no. That will never do, will it? Oh gosh, I wonder if the screen is a little bit dirty. If the camera's a little bit dirty. Here we go. Give it a little wipe. Um, does that help any? I don't, I think it could just be my connection if it is a little bit fuzzy, I'm afraid. I'm out in the sticks of Nottinghamshire. So, um, yeah, I've got a studio here, um, based literally in the middle of nowhere. So, um, the resolution is not good. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, it, it must just be my connection. I'm really sorry about that. I'm literally in the middle of nowhere and I have to rely on 4G. Um, so I've not got any, any kind of Wi-Fi. So sometimes the lives can be a little bit... A little bit dodgy, but everything I will show you is all on the website. So if there is anything that looks a little bit blurry and you can't quite see it, if you pop onto the website, um, there's all you know high resolution pictures and everything over there, so you'll be able to see everything in all its glory on the website. So speaking of the website, it is uh, simpleandthreadmake.com. So that's where you can find me. Um, and if I put a clickable link on the on the title and um, on my Instagram profile, there's all um, links and everything, so you'll be able to find your way across there. So, that's me, that's who I am. So, I've been going for almost six years now, which, um, oh, thank you, that's kind, which seems um, really, you know, crazy to, to be saying um, six years. I am going to keep scrolling through the comments just to make sure that I'm not missing any sort of questions or anything. Because I do like this about the live, the fact that it is um, interactive. I always worry as well that somebody will come on and say something really inappropriate or something like that. I don't think they would, but anyway. Um, so yeah, I've been going for almost six years now. Um, and I've kind of, over the years, developed into a, a core range. Um, and I'm just sort of concentrating now on expanding. So it all started with, I designed the Knitter's Carry All Backpack, which I'll take you through in a second. Um, and it's kind of snowballed from there. So I work predominantly with canvas. I do sometimes work with um, printed fabrics. And I have recently started um, offering making kits. So you can make your own loveliness at home with a kit with everything in the you need. I'll take you through that in a second. So for your Yarn Fest, um, the organiser Sophie has used the um, Earth Day as the theme for this time. Sophie always comes up with some beautiful ideas for themes. Um, and yeah, this is what she's come up with this time. So I've been inspired by my surroundings here in, uh, in Nottinghamshire. Um, I'm literally surrounded by fields. I'm on a tiny little industrial estate. Um, and I've uh, hand stamped these trucks. So these trucks I introduced um, the, last Yorkshire, the, the, the last Yorkshire Yarn Fest I did. So I'll quickly take you through those, um, what the truck actually is. So as you can see, it's got three pockets on the outside for popping all your, your bits and your bobs in. And it's got one large pocket on the back. So on the back, this one comes with a beehive and little tiny bees and more wildflowers and grasses. Um, so yeah, that's on the back. Uh, it comes with a leather handle that then drops down out of the way. So when you're not using it, it just drops out of the way. 
but it's such a great size for just loading up. And the inside is why lots of good stuff is happening. So we've got a pocket. There's a tiny little pocket down here. That's actually, I don't know if you can see it, but you can see it over on the website. What stamp brand? Um, this was a stamp that I had designed, um, uh, somebody over on Etsy, and they designed the stamps for me. Yeah, so just another small business. Um, there's a little mouse inside, and then the truck comes with a yarn holder. So as you can see, I've actually got two cakes of yarn in there. Uh, and this is actually foldable, it folds down, it folds out of the way. So if you're not using it, you can just literally pop it to one side, um, but that works perfectly. And then the idea of the little pocket with the mouse on is that you simply slip your needles in it and it stops your stitches coming off. It just holds everything really nice and together. So yeah, this is, um, this is the Earth Day truck. So this is only gonna be available for this weekend, to order over this weekend. Um, and it does come with sort of like a two week turnaround. But if I, you know, if I can get them out as quick as I can, I absolutely will do. Oh, the truckers are amazing. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, you can actually get so much stuff in. Um, you could easily get a blanket in there, a jumper, absolutely no problems. Just fill it full, fill it full of yarn and it's fabulous. So yeah, so that is the truck. So that's the new design and that's the Earth Day. And then for Yorkshire Yarn Fest, I thought it would be great to launch a new colour. So this is tomato. It's maybe coming up a little bit red than it is. I don't know. Um, but yeah, absolutely gorgeous colour. And again, you can see inside. You know, I'm wondering if this ring light's not actually doing any favours. Maybe, maybe that's better. Um, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, it's kind of blowing it out a little bit with the ring light on, but I think it's a little bit dark not to have it on. So that's a new colourway. Um, and then the truck is also available in lots of other colours. I just love these two. I think these two look just so lovely together. I mean, just, just look at the colours. Just look at the colours. So this is mustard and this is a bottle green. I used to have um, an olive green, but my supplier is having real issues um, just getting stuff in. So yeah, I've gone for the bottle instead. So love those colours. Oh, just, I'll just throw that one on the floor. I'll just throw that one on the floor, shall I? So those are the trucks. So the, the, the idea of the truck came from the basket and the idea of the basket came from um a tote bag that i that i designed so um for yorkshire yarn fest i've also done these two limited edition baskets so let me pop them down so i can show you so this is a huge basket and this is what um you can make using the making kit so there is also the option to have um a making kit with this beautiful fabric so again this is just limited edition just for this weekend yeah testing the durability actually absolutely let's just chuck it around and see where we end up um so all the baskets come with a pocket and a little holder inside which is ideal for popping your yarn through or stitch markers anything like that um, and there is a couple of um ones made and ready to go of those as well over in the shop but you can find all that in the shop so I just love this fabric. This is so nice and it is um, a certified organic fabric, this one, and it's made with no harmful chemicals or anything like that. So I just thought this fit with the um, with the idea of the theme of the festival um, just perfectly. And also, it comes as a knitter's comprehensive bag. So this is a, a large zip bag. Again, I think you would easily get a garment in this. You'd easily get sort of three skeins in there easily. If you look on the website, there's all photographs as well. Um, so inside, again, you've got the, the little clip and another pocket and beautiful large pocket on the front. So you can pop all your notions and little bits and bobs in. And then the clever part that this bag has is on the back, it has a clear PVC pocket. 
So that's ideal for popping it in, say like your knitting pattern and popping it on the side and just having it and you can see it really easily. And it's got a little grab handle as well. So that's the Knitters Comprehensive. And again, that's in the, the exclusive Yorkshire Yarn Fest colourway. So that's those. Let me check my notes and see where we're up to. Okay, I've done the red truck. So the making kit, as I said, I've just introduced, and introduced this about the start of the year and it gives you everything that you need to make one of these baskets. So they make beautiful gifts because it comes in, um, in a box. It's all wrapped up in tissue and lovely stickers. Inside, you have the lining. So this one has got a blue lining with the mustard canvas. I just love that color, I think it's gorgeous. You get your interfacing, you get a pattern, you get your leather handles. They do come with the whole stamped, but I haven't had a chance to do it. I've run out of stamping and it's um, it's an evening job that I do. And um, little screws and the little stitch marker inside. So it all comes like that. And it comes with a printed pattern that's um, got a lovely cover on the front and the back to keep it really nice. And basically, it just talks you through it. So you can um, you can make your own. You don't need the kit. You can just buy the pattern. The pattern is available just as a printed copy or over on Payhip as an instant download. Um, and it talks you through. It's absolutely, for a complete beginner, you would be fine. The feedback I've had on this has been brilliant. So, um, yeah, that's the pattern. I also have another another sewing pattern, um, but you can find that on my website for the canvas cube, which I don't have with me at the moment. Um, so that's the making kits. So the making kits either come just with the plain canvas and you supply your own printed fabric, or there's now ones that come with printed fabric. Uh, do you know, I have thought about doing workshops um, and that was actually my plan for last year. But with when COVID hit, it just kind of, yeah, it kind of put the kibosh on that. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure whether that will happen or not. Um, but yeah, I have thought about it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so they do come with the fabric. Oh, that's my alarm going to say that I'm almost out of time. I do this every time. Um, so let's see. So let me just say it for one more minute. <clears throat> And voices going. So I haven't done a discount code for this time. What I've done is all the shipping is reduced. Um, oh, thank you. That's such good feedback. Thank you so much. Um, uh, all the shipping is reduced. So it kind of basically will work out about a 10% discount code. I just thought that was the easiest thing than giving people codes and getting them to put things in and all the rest of it. So um, yeah, it, it's automatically applied. Just add things to car and you get the cheaper shipping. So that's what I've done this time for just for a little bit of ease. Um, and then we have got the knitters carrying your backpack. As usual, I've run out of time. So you can find that over on, on my website. This is kind of where I kind of got known for, I suppose. So it's a beautiful backpack. Just what about virtual ones? Did you know that's a really good idea, isn't it? Yeah. Although I might have to look at my face a little bit more, so maybe not. <laughs> But yeah, maybe that's something I could definitely look into. Thank you for that feedback. So yeah, these are the Knitters Carry All Backpacks. So these are just fab, um, just brilliant for just loading up at yarn festivals and yeah, just lovely. Do you remember when we used to be able to go to those? Hopefully, hey, not much longer. So that's me. As I say, there's no discount code or anything to use this time. It's all there. Um, and I think I've covered everything. Everything's over on the website. Any questions, please do just let me know. Um, does the backpack come in tomato? Uh, no, but I don't see why not. I don't see why not. Um, let me list it for you. Yeah, I'll add that in a second. I shall pop one on. Um, but yeah, that's that's everything. I'm going to go. Thank you so much for coming and watching. Um, any questions, please just let me know. I hope it wasn't too hectic because I get a little bit nervous. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. Any questions, just get in touch. Thank you for watching. Now I need to figure out how to end the live.